Mia is sleeping today, which is a blessing because the last two days, the girl did not sleep. I think she's going through like a sleep regression throughout the daytime and also a feeding regression because she hasn't been eating as much as she naturally would. But they said that a feeding regression is normal at like three months, so. I don't know, I need it to go away. But I'm having breakfast and I took out one of my Christmas candles for the kitchen because the sweater weather that I had on here, I put it in the living room now that I got the serving tray and the Christmas candle is giving me all the Christmas and fall vibes to be completely honest. And when I got them, I wasn't sure how I felt about it because I'm like, I'm gonna have the Christmas candles all year because that's all they had left, but I absolutely love it. And I'm kind of excited for the holidays. I'm excited for Thanksgiving. She's gonna be able to like eat. You can like put a lot of things out her mouth or whatever. So I'm really excited about that. And for Christmas, I can't wait to put on my Christmas tree. Today is such a rainy day. Last night I had said that um, I'd wake up early in the morning because I was watching a video on uh, Instagram and it was basically telling you why it's important to take the babies on walks in the mornings to kind of help them establish daytime and nighttime and you know like the cool crisp air but I don't have like a little sweater for her so I need to get her a little sweater. I need to get her a few things actually. She needs a few things right now. And this is the first she would have needed anything since she's been born because um, everything else I had either bought ahead of time or like I got it from my registry. So now it's like, um, it makes sense that she would need a few things now. So I need to get her like a little sweater and it's, it's you know, the cooler months. So like a little jacket and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how that works. But um, yeah, yesterday was a bad sleep day. She was groggy. But I don't mind if she's up during the day, at least for right now. I just want to make sure that she's sleeping at night because, you know, when I leave for work, I don't want the problems. So, I'm glad that she's at least still sleeping at night. I was fully expecting for her to not be sleeping right at this moment. It's currently 12.27 and I just thought she would have taken her morning nap and that would have been it. So, she woke up at like 4. Was it 4 or 5? I think it was five, but let me look to be sure. And I fed her and everything. I gave her a bottle. What time was that? Five to nine. She woke up at 5 a.m. and I gave her a bottle and she went back to sleep until 9 a.m. Normally I would wake her up, but because she didn't sleep yesterday, I'm like, I'm not messing with her. If she's gonna take that morning nap, I'm gonna let her do that. Especially because when I go back to work and I come home in the mornings, it would be nice if she's sleeping for a little bit so I can at least get some sleep during the day because, you know, I'm gonna have to go back to work that night or whatever. And obviously now she's getting to the point where she doesn't sleep that much um, during the daytime. So, kind of preparing myself for that. But honestly, what can you do? You gotta just readjust as she grows. So she went back to sleep at, um, she woke up at 9.53. So basically 10 o'clock and she went back to sleep at 11 and she's currently still sleeping and I'm so grateful. So when I saw that she was sleeping for more than 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and like basically just get myself ready for the day just in case she does not sleep for the rest of the day. This morning too, when she went to sleep at nine, I also went to sleep with her cause I'm like, she probably isn't gonna sleep. But um, you know, while they're going through this transitional period, it's things that are gonna change with them and so I'm just embracing the change right now. It just throws the schedule that I had her on off a little bit. But you know, hopefully she gets back on schedule and it's not like completely derailed forever. But she's on schedule for the nights and that's the important thing right now. I want a smooth night when I'm not here. So yeah, eating breakfast. No plans for the day at all because it's a rainy day so it's not like I could take her on a walk or anything. Oh, this weather is so bad. Especially this time of the year. Last week, it was so, so hot. Maybe I took her on a walk like one or two of the days. One of the days I had um, a doctor's appointment and a few other things. So we were outside that day and when I pierced her ears, and then the other day, I definitely left and took her on a walk. But like so far, 
I, I haven't been able to do much the last couple of days because if it's extremely hot I'm not gonna take her outside I don't think her little body is able to like regulate that well so I'm not putting her through that but yeah that's what's going on I'm I'm trying to be more intentional about vlogging because sometimes four or five a week goes by and I haven't picked up the camera so I'm like okay whatever I need to do better so I'm trying but yeah well, hello everyone I just went downstairs and I got the mail and my insurance finally covered an emergency room bill for the baby I don't know why it was taking so long and then I got another mail but I have something really exciting that I want to show you guys hold on recently I've been putting her on the boob a lot more before I would have yes I would have put her on the boob but you read through this really quickly what are they saying um, I'm going back to work and that means that at this point that's gonna be two weeks I'm a poopy myself next week is Joe's birthday and we are going out and then the week after that is probably when I'm gonna go back to work but because I'm going back to work and I am a planner through and through with that being said I have to be working out schedules because um Mia's aunt is gonna watch her for two of the nights until her dad gets home and then um you know her dad is off two nights judging we have two different nights off and then um you know I have nights off so I'm hoping that I'm probably gonna need somebody to watch her for like two nights or three tops I don't really know what the situation will be yet but I'm trying to work out all the kinks and make sure that I have things in place for whatever um the situation is gonna be which I don't know what that is yet comes on what's the point of this people i think the people in amazon's packing rooms waste a lot of cardboard anyways let's do this quickly before she's over her passy uh i think this is what i would use to erase it but because i am a planner through and through i decided to get a little calendar for the um fridge door and uh and like a lot of agenda for the bottom half because I'm gonna need to plan out or schedules and all of that thoroughly so one has um, the entire month on there which great so this is the one with the month the monthly and I'm gonna stick it on the fridge and then I can write the month that we are in up top there And then, let's see. Take me home, take me on a ride. I, I got a good feeling about. 